Hi guys and gals. I uh, just rebuilt the Scott master cylinders on my Stenson 1083. I had some people asking questions and requesting a video. So I'll do my best to show you how to do it here. First thing you want to do if you have a Scott master cylinder and if you look in your Univer parts catalog over here on the right hand side of the uh, of page 65 is a Scott master cylinder and on the left hand side is the Goodyear master cylinder. I believe Univer stocks parts for both. I also think these parts are most likely available from other vendors. You're going to disconnect the stem from the reservoir by unscrewing it. Now of course it's probably been on there a long time. It's probably tough and a little difficult to get off there. I was trying to be careful with the vise and uh, some pump handle pliers protecting it with a cloth. Then after you've done that you're going to want to remove these four set screws with a 1 16th Allen wrench here. Once you get those, let me see if I can, there we go. Once you get those removed then you can pull the stem out of your cylinder and reservoir. There's also a spring in there. Uh, very important to make sure that you get your reservoir nice and clean. Check that cylinder, get it nice and clean. There was a little debris down in mine. I cleaned it with a pistol cleaning kit, you know, ran a few patches down there. I found that worked real well and uh, was able to get it nice and clean. All right, then on the stem, we're gonna disassemble it further we're going to remove this nut. You can tell that it's, uh, it's on a flat-sided stud and it's crimped on the side. You can just screw that off there. I believe it's a 7 16 And then uh, above that nut, you're going to have what they call a uh, sprint washer, a washer, the U-cup, and then this piston assembly. Now the sprint washer is essentially just a spring and it allows the piston to, to rock back and forth. Uh, so when you remove this, of course, you're going to want to lay it out in order and try to not get, uh, get it confused. If you do, if you have a parts catalog, it'll help you get everything back in the right order. You're going to take your old U-cup off, and it faces down. The part number is uh, 18051. You're going to want to take that off. And by the way, these are the parts that you'll need. You need uh, 35 a 36 and a 37 in the parts catalog. Um, and that's an O-ring, your uh, piston stem seal, and the U-cup. All right, so uh, we're gonna put the, the U-cup actually goes on the piston, it faces down so that as the piston slides down inside the cylinder, it can make pressure. And when you go to reassemble that, on the stem, that uh, sprit washer um, or sprint washer acts as a spring, so it holds the piston up like this. When you push down, you're making hydraulic pressure, and when the the stem comes back up, it allows that piston to rock down against that spring, and it creates enough of a void there that you can get more. Um, hydraulic fluid in there, more 5606 in there. My stem has about four threads on it. That's about right. You just need it to be able to basically set snug against the top there and be able to rock back. Then, uh, of course, I, when you have this all disassembled, you can slide this stem out and you need to replace this 4014. This top seal goes in here and it's a tight space to work. So I found I couldn't get at it from the bottom side. So what I did is I slid, when the stem's out of the way, if you push this uh, spring up, you can twist this, it takes a little pressure, and you can pop your parking brake catch out of the way, and then you can work this in from the top, uh, you know, using your fingers to get all these seals and rings in. and. Uh, like a tongue depressor or a popsicle stick, some soft piece of wood that won't damage it seems to work well. This O-ring 
goes on the bottom of the cup, you can slide the cylinder out this direction and then work that O-ring in. When everything is all cleaned up, lubricate your uh, rubber parts with some 5606, ideally, if you're like me and you forgot it at the airport, a little Vaseline or something. And uh, you can slide it all back together without damaging anything. Good luck, fly safe, uh, and have a happy new year.